Happy New Year everyone and welcome to our first video of 2022. Somehow we made it through another crazy year and while things are still looking a little hectic out there, the lineup of games that are coming out is definitely enough to brighten things up a bit. We truly have a lot to look forward to. If you're into video games or Nintendo related content, make sure you like the video and subscribe for more. But don't go anywhere as we can't wait to discuss what 2022 has in store for us on the Nintendo Switch. 2022 is starting off strong with one of the games that we are most excited for. Pokemon Legends Arceus is coming out in just a few weeks on January the 28th and it looks like the Pokemon company is finally shaking up its formula a bit. This game looks like a far more open experience rather than the linear storyline that we're used to. It actually looks more like Breath of the Wild or Monster Hunter than a Pokemon game and fans have been asking for an open world Pokemon for ages so it looks like our prayers have finally been answered by the Pokemon gods. We feel like we've been waiting forever for Rune Factory 5 to release. We've already talked about Rune Factory 4 on the channel which released all the way back in 2012 and it's almost time for number 5. Finally! They did make us wait a little longer though as it has already been released in Japan but we can expect it to come to Western audiences in March of this year. March is gearing up to be extremely busy for Switch owners as on the 4th of that month we will all be treated to Triangle Strategy by Square Enix. This Nintendo exclusive acts as a sort of spiritual successor to the immensely popular Octopath Traveler, one of our personal favourites on the system. Triangle Strategy shares many visual similarities with Octopath but will play as a tactical RPG rather than a traditional one. We've been hyped for this one for a while now and we can't wait to check it out. Advance Wars 1 and 2 Reboot Camp was originally meant to release on Switch on the 3rd of December but was delayed until the spring of 2022. Which is actually autumn if you like us that live down here in the Southern Hemisphere. This is a remake of the Advance Wars games originally released on the Game Boy Advance. To be honest, we like the vibe and art styles of the originals a little more, but we know there's a fan base who's looking forward to getting their hands on this turn-based strategy game. We really appreciate it when games release on the Switch the same day as other consoles, and that is exactly what's going to happen with Marvel's Midnight Suns. This tactical RPG looks as though it'll lean heavily into the mystical side of Marvel lore, and will allow you to team up with favourites from the X-Men, the Avengers, and more. Create your own superhero and slay some demons in the second half of 2022. This year is going to be a real treat for tactical RPG fans. The last big one we know about currently for the Switch is Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope. The surprisingly wonderful mashup of IPs here is deserving of a second outing as the first game Kingdom Battle was one of the best early Switch titles. A perfectly crafted mix of humour, strategy and plumbing is coming our way sometime this year. Splatoon 3 is splashing its way onto our Switch screens in 2022. It doesn't have a solid release date yet, but from the trailers it looks like they're putting a lot of thought into creating heaps of new moves, weapons and areas to freshen things up a bit. It also seems like the story mode might be getting a little more developed, so we are pretty excited to see that later on this year. You know who else is making a comeback this year? Kirby with the release of Forgotten Lands coming your way sometime in spring. This game almost looks like the Mario Odyssey of Kirby's with its 3D platforming game style. We can't wait to see how the post-apocalyptic world plays out. It's definitely pretty high on our wish lists for this year. Badass female leads anyone? You can't get much more epic if you're already wearing guns for shoes, right? <laughs> Bayonetta 3 has been a long-awaited title from Platinum Games and during the last Nintendo Direct of 2021, we finally got what we've been waiting for. A trailer and a release window. This action adventure promises to bring the best of the series to Switch and we can't wait to play as everybody's favourite witch sometime in 2022. Sonic Forces looks to be the first Sonic adventure to feature open world gameplay, giving the series a much needed breath of fresh air. Travelling at breakneck speed through these beautiful biomes is such an exciting proposition that we can't wait to take part in. Current rumours suggest that this one won't be out until November, so we have plenty of time to get excited for Sonic's version of Breath of the Wilds. Our fingers are definitely crossed for this game not getting delayed and actually coming to Switch this year. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild 2 
doesn't have a solid date or even a name yet, but we have seen gameplay trailers, we have seen footage, and it looks incredible. We don't have tons of information to go off, but from what we can tell, Zelda gets a cute new haircut, the castle flies away, and there'll be new runes applied to the Sheikah Slate, presumably, the Sheikah Arm, that feature time warping and possibly teleportation mechanics. We could not be more excited for this game. It is definitely our most anticipated release for 2022. It wouldn't be a Switch list if we didn't throw in some of what the Switch does best, indies. Sea of Stars was announced in the latest indie showcase and we are super excited for it. It is a gorgeous looking retro inspired turn-based RPG where two children of the solstice harness the power of the sun and moon to perform eclipse magic. The pixel art style looks beautiful, the story sounds epic, and the gameplay looks awesome. Did you say... Indies? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge is also slated for a 2022 release. This side-scrolling beat-em-up is in good hands, as publisher Dotemu was also responsible for the critically acclaimed Streets of Rage 4, another side-scrolling beat-em-up. Shredder's Revenge promises to transport us straight back to the arcades of the 80s and will stay faithful to the cartoon of that era. With Mike Patton from Faith No More singing the theme song and the beautiful visuals we've already seen, this one is looking more than promising. We haven't talked about Golf Story here yet on Some Kind of Gaming and honestly that's a bit of a crime, so we'll make up for it by getting everyone excited for its sequel, Sports Story. We're not huge on sports games, but the guys at Sidebar Games here in Australia know what they're doing by bringing in RPG and adventure elements to truly set their games apart. While no release schedule has been confirmed, we've got our fingers crossed for Sports Story in 2022. Have you seen Genshin Impact? This game was announced to be released on Switch in 2020, even before it was released. And, uh, we're still looking for it. This game saw a little bit of controversy in the beginning, even seeing some protests due to its similarity to Breath of the Wilds. It is definitely heavily inspired by the visuals, but it plays very differently, so those issues have simmered down quite a bit. There is definitely enough room for both of them on the Switch. Maybe this is a case of wishful thinking, but we first saw gameplay of Hollow Knight Silksong back in 2019, so it must be getting close. Hollow Knight was such a brutal yet beautiful game that released on the Switch in 2017, and its sequel Silksong has been rightfully heavily anticipated. So if we all wish at the same time, this might be our year. Okay, three, two, one, go. Okay, look, we know this one might be a bit of a long shot, but we thought if we included Metroid Prime 4 here, then we might help manifest it. There is no official release date for this title, and we haven't heard any substantial rumours either. But hey, you never know. Nintendo did announce Dread, and it released only a couple of months later, so it could happen. Just let us have this one, please. Metroid Prime 4 for 2022. Yay, you made it to the end of the most anticipated games for 2022. And the most exciting part is that there is still so much more to look forward to. Obviously, we couldn't fit all of the games slated for release this year. And the best part is that there's still way more to come we don't even know about yet. A credible leaker by the name of Leaky Panda has teased that Nintendo has a lot in store for us this year. And oh god, we hope he's right. I don't know if it's just me, but the list of games for 2022 already looks more promising than last year. But we want to know what you are looking forward to the most, so let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe while you're down there. Thank you so much for watching another video, and we'll see you all again next week.